I'm Dr. Stanley Lam. I'm a skeletal physician in Hong Kong. During the following few minutes, you are going to see prolotherapy to be done in various regions of our body. It can be neck, back, shoulder, elbow, hips, etc. Prolotherapy is a safe and non-invasive procedure comparing to surgery. The, the principle of prolotherapy is simple. It is by injecting growth factor production stimulant that stimulate the growth factor release or a growth factor itself. Growth factor production stimulant can be hypertonic glucose or growth factor itself it can be in the form of adjoining your blood and use of centrifuge machine to produce the platelet-rich plasma. We inject either of these solutions to the point of injury, to the soft tissue injury, which include ligaments that joins the bones together, the tendons insertion that joins the muscle to the bone, it can be the joint capsule, it can be the cartilage inside our joint. If these soft tissue are easily injured and they produce pain, usually in the form of chronic pain, and they are very difficult to heal because they have poor blood supply. By injecting this growth factor production stimulant or growth factor, they pro we produce a localized self-limited inflammation in the region of uh, in this soft tissue in the region of injury and um, that has done the healing process and treat the root cause of the pain if you have any problem about prolotherapy you can contact musculoskeletal physician or visit our website www.hkimm.hk Hi, I'm Dr. Stanley Lam. Uh, today I'm going to do a prolotherapy for uh, this lady's neck. Okay, let's start. Okay, could you bend down a little bit? Yes. The first thing I'm going to do is um, uh, applying some local anesthetics over the skin, over the, the region I'm going to inject. Are you okay? Yep. Is it very painful? It's just a... Uh, mm, just a little. Just a little bit. Okay. And... Um, and the marking I'm, uh, I draw is... Um, corresponding to the interspinal space. That is the space between the two spinous processes of the cervical spine. And um, these are the, uh, the facet joints. Okay. After applying local anesthetics, and then, and then we start uh, using these. Uh, we bend down a little bit. Yes, good. Okay. Um, for applying local anesthetics, I'm using uh, just a 30 gauge, uh, 1 inch needle. It is very very small, even smaller than what you get. You get um, when take when um, having the vaccination. When, for example, you have a flu shot. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. This is the spine C two spinous process. That is very important because all the sub occipital muscles uh, are attached here, and. Uh, if this part is um, having problem because some, uh, for example, the tendon injuries, ligament laxity, uh, tendon laxity, and then people a lot of time are presented with uh, uh, chronic neck and head pain, and uh, we also have giddiness or dizziness of a tiger is due to the neck because of the loosening of this uh, cervical spine and uh, it's very easy for the C2 to get out of alignment and uh, on top of a C3 and um, that creates um, a wrong force sensation to, to your brain that uh, oh the head is uh, always uh, out of alignment and it's all, always not in the correct position and um, you can see it's um, 
control therapy can be done very quick, and uh, it's uh, it's also well tolerated. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. It's just a little sore. Just a little sore, right? Okay, I finished the spinous process, and uh, this is the facet joint. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need to change to a longer needle because the facet joint is uh, it's, uh, usually quite deep. This is a 25 gauge 2 inch needle. Yes. Right now I can touch the, the facet more easily. And then the technique is uh, always hit bone and inject. Okay, that is the facet. Are you okay? Yep. So this is this treatment is very good for those patients with uh, uh, whiplash injury. Uh, with um, chronic poor posture, because the poor posture, for example, using the computer for a long time, uh, with the head protruding forward, and it's very easy to create problems in the. Uh, stretch, uh, put a lot of stress over the uh, post. I mean the 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 back and the, the neck, especially the posterior. I mean the back of the neck. Um, with those ligaments uh, become very loose. In the medical term, is lax, and uh, with this laxity, the patient is um, easily get um, the cervical spine out of alignment. Are you okay? A little. Okay. And then that's the injection, the, the prototherapy to the cervical spine. Okay.